What's going on, everybody? So I tried re-watching The Suicide Squad, and look, I'm trying to give it a chance, but it just doesn't get my attention. I'm really bored. I try to get into it, but I just can't, man, honestly. I'm not saying this because I'm trying to sound like a hater or nothing. I'm really trying to give it a chance, but it just it's just not my cup of tea, honestly, man. Make sure to hit the subscribe. I really appreciate everybody. But look, honestly, Look, oh my God, I just don't know where to start. That's how much of a mess it is, all right? Look, just my point of view. I get it. If you like it, cool, that's you, all right? You enjoyed it, whatever, you you liked it. But don't let my opinion offend you. That's different. My opinion is my opinion, and I stand on my ground, all right? Now, check this out. The Suicide Squad from James Gunn is literally a ripoff of, wow, Guardians of the Galaxy sprinkled with r-rated rating and that's it that's literally what it is it's just guardians of the galaxy r-rated that's it you got pointless characters like weasel you have the girl with the rats come on man like these are not appealing characters you know and it's like in the beginning when they kill off uh boomerang it's like come on why they did that to him you know and then this is the only time we see him actually throw the boomerang and actually do damage when he kills that guy when he cuts his head in half. And look, man, honestly, you just see what James Gunn intentions were at the time and what they are. He's just coming in to erase everything that Zack Snyder has created and everything that David Ayer has done, you know, with Suicide Squad. That's why we didn't get Joker, because again, uh, what's his name? James Gunn is not in good terms with Jared Leto in real life. So, you know, that's why it's kind of hard uh, to sometimes believe that what James Gunn, because he's a liar. He's, that's what it is. Um, that he's like, oh, he told David Ayer that he's going to release uh, the Ayer cut. No, he's not. He's not. He's not going to give credit, and he's not going to want to give, um, what is it? Yeah, credit to Jared Leto, because he's on there, you know? So, personal problems, whatever, that's them. But look, we have to keep on fighting for it, all right, for the Ayer cut. And honestly, just this movie is just not, I, I just can't get into it. I really can't, you know, pointless jokes, you know, a lot of dick jokes and, you know, crotch grabbing and, you know, it's just pointless humor where I'm like, uh, why? Like, that's not necessary, you know, but again, it's James Gunn. How is he in power at DC Studios? The hell should I know? I, I don't even know how the hell. He got appointed to be in that position. Honestly. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Because he works with Marvel. And because of that, DC thinks that they're going to once again succeed. Because they did the same thing with Joss Whedon when they brought him in for uh, Justice League. Right? It didn't go nowhere. All it did was just destroy DC and, you know, look at where we're still at. You know? Because, again, DC, they're stubborn. They're just hard-headed. They don't listen to the fans. And they think they know what's best for us. But look, they should have just... Okay, James Gunn should have just said, we're not going to call it the Suicide Squad. We're just going to call it Suicide Squad 2. That's it. All right, you're going to reboot it? Just reboot it. You're going to erase some of the characters? Let them die off. Okay. And then just bring in your characters and, and slowly start building up to it. But it just doesn't make sense, honestly. You know? And it's to the point where it's like none of this... It makes sense anymore. And that's, like I said, this is just me. James Gunn is a Trojan horse. He's been sent to destroy DC Inside Out, and that, and he's doing a fantastic job at doing that. He's dismantling everything inside of WB, and he's doing good. I don't know up to what point will DC and Warner Brothers wake up and realize, hey, this is the wrong person that we have in our company. He's destroying it from the inside out. He's gutting it completely, you know? And honestly, there's no hope. There just isn't no hope with James Gunn, you know? Seeing the Suicide Squad, I'm not even surprised why they're not going to do another one, you know, the third one, if you want to call it. Um, it. It's just completely ridiculous where we're at. This is why we will stop at nothing and we will continue to make all the movies, especially Superman Legacy, flop. That's a certified flop, all right? And 
we won't stop. That's it. You know, the wars between WB and the fans, and in the end, we fans always win. <laughs> Look, congratulate yourself. We're doing a fantastic job. All these movies that have been flopping, and we got more coming that are going to flop too because we're the paying consumer. We're the fan. We're the real DC fans because we know what we want. Until WB doesn't realize that and give us the Snyderverse and end it properly, we're not going to stop. That's what it is. Facts are facts. Some of y'all can't accept it. And the denial is real. Some of the comments that y'all leave, wow. I literally have to delete because it's just too much, you know? But yeah, that's what it is. Make sure to hit the subscribe, drop your comments, all that good stuff. And until next time.